All right, YouTube, I wanted to make this as a public service announcement to anyone who has played on the Winning Poker Network or America's Card Room over the past 10 or so days since they updated their software. ACR and the Winning Poker Network might have been stealing money or taking money from your account, and that money might be missing from your account. And for a lot of people out there, the only way they've been able to recover this money is by contacting America's Card Room on Twitter, contacting CEO Phil Nagy directly on Twitter, or on the 2 Plus 2 Poker Forums. And I know there's a lot of players out there who have messaged me who said, hey, can you make a video about this ACR software embarrassing situation? Can you, I, I'm missing some money from my account. I played cash game. I didn't get the money in my account. The, I played Blitz. I the money, didn't get the money in my account. So if you're out there, and I know there's a lot of people out there who are probably going to get fucked super hard by this situation because they're dealing with this overwhelmed support that ACR has that probably isn't very good in the first place from everything that I'm reading out there so far. And now they're getting hundreds and maybe thousands of messages complaining about the software update and about missing money on the site. And if you're out there and you're saying, I'm missing money, I'm dealing with this incompetent support, what the hell is going on here? Like, I, I need some help. I want you to go to Twitter. I want you to mention me and mention America's Card Room and mention the Winning Poker Network CEO, Phil Nagy, in some sort of tweet. And if you have an issue and you can't get a refund, please send me a message on Twitter. Please send me a message on Instagram. I will try to direct you to a source where you can actually get your money back, even if you have maybe have a discrepancy. So what's been happening, I guess, is that there were people playing tournaments. They didn't get their money. They registered for things. Things got canceled. They didn't get their money. Some people are saying, allegedly, they're missing some sort of rake back on there. So I'm not super familiar exactly with how the, if there was a new rake back system or with the software update in ACR, because after having CEO Phil Nagy on the, on the podcast, he talked about how the new software could see everything that you're posting and see everything that you're doing on your computer. So it sounds a little fucking sketchy. And now, if you're unfamiliar with what's happening, I had America's Card Room CEO Phil Nagy on my podcast recently to address the cheating that's been going on with the botting and the potential colluding and the potential out of line activity happening on there. And he kept mentioning that there'd be a software update coming in the works. I think the software update came about 10 or so days ago, and it's been a fucking disaster. It's been an absolutely embarrassing situation for anyone involved with the software update. The support on 2 plus 2, the winning TD, said he was embarrassed to show his face on the forums for one day. But I do got to say, he has helped some people get refunds on 2 plus 2. So I've had my, my back and forth with him in the past. But he's working with what he has here. And people are fucking pissed off. They're not happy. They're complaining on Twitter. They're complaining on 2 plus 2. They're complaining on Instagram. They're sending me messages complaining about things saying, hey, can somebody speak up about this situation? Because it feels like nobody with some sort of voice is actually on the player's side and willing to say, okay, there's something going on here. So basically what happened, they updated the software. It's been a disaster. It's shut down numerous times. A lot of different glitches. I saw one screenshot where a guy was playing Hold'em, had three fucking cards in his hand. So I don't, it, it's, it's an amateur hour here, basically, guys. It's an amateur hour out there. They, they, who knows how many people are on this sort of software update. Obviously, it's not easy to update software because these guys are using all of you players out there as the beta testers instead of actually having other people beta test this to ensure that it's working properly. So hopefully they're working at this. Hopefully they will get this fixed. I, I don't have a lot to really say about this thing, except it, it's just an embarrassing situation. The communication has been very, very, very lacking. And I'm not really sure exactly what the support's supposed to say. I, I'm, I'm led to believe there may honestly only be one support person for the entire site. I think the same support person that operates Twitter also operates on two plus two. So maybe you're dealing with one support people on the public forums, and then you have a handful of number of people that are the support when you message back and forth with them. Um, how much they really know about what they're talking about, those support people, I'm not sure. I've seen some chat logs. It doesn't look very good. These don't look like the most supportive people or the most nice people. You have to imagine what kind of person ends up with a job as ACR support. You know, I mean, I don't know, right? So Phil Nagy mentioned the 11. He's got 11 security guys on the team. And people did tell me the, the games are pretty good because guess what? It's only Americans. 
So people were saying the bots closed down shop for a few days. The bots didn't want to play because money was getting confiscated. The bots didn't want to play because the race, race race wasn't working properly. The bots didn't want to play because their software was getting adjusted to the new ACR software. So they told me the bots were out of commission for a few days. But luckily for all of us, I'm told the bots are back. So not sure if this really fixed the situation or not. You know, I saw a screenshot out there where a guy was nearing the bubble. He was, I think he was chip leader. There was 20 some players left and they canceled the goddamn tournament on the guy. You know, so this is what we're dealing with here. And I just feel really bad because especially if you happen to watch the last podcast with Phil Nagy and you're one of the people out there who said, well, I believe this guy. This guy's trying to do right. This guy's trying to turn around. I'm going to go with this guy. When the software updates, I'm going to support this guy. I'm going to play on the site. And I feel like a lot of people out there are really getting fucking scammed in this situation in terms of losing their money or not being able to know what happened. Like, oh, I played these tournaments. I didn't get this money back when the tournaments were canceled or I bought in for this, this amount of money in cash game. And what I'm being told is that the support is putting the burden of proof on you as the player to prove that, oh, I, got, I lost money. You guys didn't give me the fucking money that you owe me in my account. It's ridiculous. This is what we're dealing with as American poker players. It's fucking ridiculous, man. You know, people say, what are the other options for tournaments? For tournaments, high guarantees, not many other options out there right now for an American poker player if you want to play on there. So people say, okay, why don't you just not play? And I, I you know, sure, I would say that too, but we understand poker players are fucking degenerates. They want to gamble. They want to play. They love playing. They want to play high guarantees. And this is what you got to deal with. So on one hand, you know, you got to deal with it. But on the other hand, someone's got to st stick up for this kind of situation, man, because it's fucking bullshit, dude. It's bullshit that this is the state, and I, I just can't imagine how people without a Twitter account who aren't following them on Twitter, aren't following ACR Poker on Twitter, aren't following them on 2 plus 2, are completely unaware of how exactly they're supposed to get their money back. Which is a fucking disaster, it really is. So hopefully they get their shit together. Hopefully the communication steps up a little bit here. And uh, if you guys are having an issue, please let me know in the comments below. Please send me a message. I will try to help you guys out. I will try to help you guys get your money back. I will try to help you put you in touch with someone who can assist you in this situation. So that's it, guys. We're out here at the World Series of Poker. Uh, I took this week off. Not much content this week. And uh, Jungle Man podcast earlier this week. We'll be back next week with a lot of different stuff. May 31st, the World Series of Poker 2019. It's going to be a great summer. Phil Nagy, get your shit together, buddy. Come on, man. What the fuck is going on, Phil? Come on, bro. What is going on, man? This is what you do. Come on, man. Bro. Come on, please, for the sake of the players, please. I know you want to do it. Please, please, please. That's it.